Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for a very exciting and special Royal Caribbean webinar. My name is Anna. I'm an industry relations manager here at CLIA, and I'm going to just quickly go through some housekeeping before introducing our presenters. This webinar will run about 35 minutes with time for questions at the end. Please feel free to type your questions into the questions module of the webinar, and we'll get to them at the conclusion of the presentation. This webinar is being recorded and will be posted on CLIA's YouTube channel, which is CLIA Global. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce our presenters, Lori Vaughn and Mari Liptak. Lori is Royal Caribbean International's Director of National Accounts, Training, and Trade Associations. As part of the industry's largest sales organization, she oversees trade association partnerships, training, and the cruise lines relationships with North America's top travel advisors, agencies, and networks. Lori and her team manage the sales and marketing initiatives of these accounts, striving an original approach to achieving sales. And joining Lori is Mari Liptak, a sales training specialist. And with that, take it away, ladies. Oh my gosh, well, thank you, Anna. And Mara, Mari and I are so excited to be here today, aren't we, Mari? We are so excited. Absolutely. And we really want to take a moment to say thank you and appreciate you. Because you see, our success, it doesn't happen without you. And you've really stuck by our, si our side. It's been a while. We've been on pause. But really, we will be back. And we will be back. And in the interim, we're going to have our sales team supporting you. We have programs like RCL Cares, our second round of that, soon to be announced. And details of that, I should say. And just really, we're bringing you our best every day in that interim. So in that time, let's talk right now about tips and tools and tricks so that when we come back to service, you're ready because we cannot wait to welcome you back. And with that, I wanted to give you a little snapshot into a change that we recently made. And that is the name of our parent company. Instead of Royal Caribbean Cruises Limited, which we've been for many years, we are now Royal Caribbean Group. And under the umbrella of Royal Caribbean Group, and if you notice, there's even a new logo for that, there is Royal Caribbean International, which is the brand that Mari and I work for, Celebrity Cruises, our fabulous sister brand, as well as Silver Sea, Tui Cruises, and Hapat Lloyd. And so this is our family of brands. So we haven't changed our name, Royal Caribbean International. It's really our parent company that has shifted to Royal Caribbean Group. Now, at Royal Caribbean, I just love talking about our brand because we are so much beyond the expected. And there are really four major pillars that represent who and what we are. There's our innovative ships. And I always like to think that we have so many firsts at sea and only on Royal Caribbean. And it really does make an exciting ship each and every time we bring a new ship out. And of course, we even keep our current ships very exciting, which we'll get into in the presentation. But it's also our amazing worldwide destinations. Gosh, 300 ports of call, 30 countries, six continents, and over 3,000 shore excursions, some of those even with sustainability in mind. Now, of course, all of that means nothing without the exceptional service that we provide. And that really, I like to think of it as the bow on top of the package. It brings it all together, and it's that personalized service, celebrating special events. These are all things that we do so beautifully at Royal Caribbean. So the service is really the key that brings it together. And then of course, there's our cruising. So we take you to beautiful ports, but we also really care about the communities in which we visit. We try to leave them better than we found them. And of course, when there's time of need, whether it's a hurricane, a fire, flooding, earthquakes, we always try to lean in and really provide that extra service and be good neighbors and good partners in the places that we visit. Now there's another really important pillar that means more now in today's discussion than ever before. And while we've always been a cruise line focused on safety, today we know with COVID that the well-being of our guests, you, our travel partners, of course, our crew and the communities we visit, these are really our huge priority as we prepare to return to service. And what are we doing to get ready for that? Well, of course, you probably by now have heard about our Blue Ribbon Panel of Experts. And they are co-chaired by Governor Mike Levitt and Dr. Scott Gottlieb. There's experts in epidemiology, bioscience, 
maritime safety, and everything you can imagine that really brings together this group of experts to make us truly prepared for returning to service. And this group has helped us turn in 74 protocols to the CDC that the CDC has now approved, and we're working with the CDC currently to finalize all the details of how we will return to service. And we soon will have the details of those protocols. And who's coordinating that effort? Well, Royal Caribbean has hired a new global head of public health and chief medical officer, and it is Dr. Calvin Johnson. So he works directly with Royal Caribbean and this blue ribbon panel of experts to coordinate all of our efforts. Now, while I can't tell you the details of the protocols because we're still finalizing all of that, what I can tell you is Muster 2.0 is a game-changing uh, evolution of how we do our safety drill at sea. And when we return to service, all of our guests will enjoy mustering in this new way. So whether your clients have a smartphone and use the Royal Caribbean app or the interactive stateroom TV, they'll be able to see a series of informational videos that tell you all about the safety protocols and what to do in case of an emergency. The final step will then be to go to your actual muster station that you've been assigned. There will be crew members there, and those crew members will ask, answer any questions you may have or the guests may have. And then, of course, they'll swipe the key card and do a final quick review of what to do in case of an emergency, and the clients and guests are free to go. What a difference between that and, of course, when we used to gather in large crowds, the entire ship would shut down. Uh, we would gather to wait in lines, to go out to the muster station, stand there and wait. And this took probably a good hour or longer of our first day on the ship. Now, this is able to be done at your client's leisure in a four-hour window of time. I don't know about you all, but if we were in a room together, I think everybody's faces would be smiling and lighting up because I know you're big cruisers yourselves in most cases, and you know just how great an evolution this is. Now, we've patented the technology. Our sister brands will also use this, and even some other companies in the industry because we see this as a big win for all. So Royal Caribbean, beyond the expected, these are just a few reminders of what that means. But I'd love to show you a quick video that kind of reminds you of where we've come from and all those surprise and delights that your clients, our guests, will expect when they're sailing on Royal Caribbean. Now, if the video isn't quite playing perfect for you or the sound lags a little bit, all the videos you'll see today you can find on the Royal Caribbean YouTube channel, and you can visit them, upload them, download them, share them, and uh, take them all in. So without any further ado, Let's look at Royal Caribbean, where we've come from and where we are today. I don't know about you, but that makes me want to be on a Royal Caribbean ship. And you know, innovation doesn't stop there. And Mari, I'd love for you to share a little bit about the innovations we've made to the existing fleet. Oh, absolutely. If that video didn't say it well enough, our ships are beyond innovative. We've consistently reinvented the definition of a cruise vacation with our incredible first at sea, like my personal favorite, the Flow Rider. And it's not just about these firsts, but also our game-changing technology. On what other cruise vacation can you have a drink made by a robotic bartender? Or even enjoy performances in an aqua theater, this being the deepest pool at sea with 30-foot diving platforms and, just better, Olympic-level high divers, aerial acrobats, and so much more. And it's it gets even better, Lori, because our ships are only getting more innovative. So I can't wait to see what we'll share next time. Now, Me too. As you know, our Royal Amplified program, it not only modernized many of our ships, 
but it really took them to the next level. We amplified our iconic pool deck, amped up our bars and nightlife, and took our culinary experiences to the next level. Let's see which of our ships received this special Royal Amplified treatment. These, oh, I just <laughs> seen these names. I wish I was on one right now. But these six ships have all been royally amplified. And I have a really strong feeling that these will be among the first sailing when we're back on the waters. Let's just take a quick peek at a few of these ships to see what amps really means, starting with, excuse me, the independence of the seas. So this ship takes your client's crews up a notch. We've added Playmaker Sports Bar and Arcade. And Lori, I need to admit, something. The last time we were on board one of our amplified ships, we had a pretty big Jenga competition going on at Playmakers. It was pretty intense, and I will add in that I did not lose. So <laughs> it is a great, great experience. Now, we also have Skypad, which is a bungee trampoline that will launch guests hot sky high for gravity-defying fun with virtual reality. And we have laser tag, and seafood lovers can rejoice for fish and ships. So next, let's look at Mariner of the Seas. Mariner of the Seas has the new escape room. It has the perfect storm water slide. Also, our new to brand Polynesian Lounge, the Bamboo Room, will offer the coolest cocktails, fights, and vibes. And laser tag, this glow in the dark fun is honestly for everyone. Now we have Navigator of the Seas next. Here you'll find Blaster and Riptide Slides. The Blaster is the longest water slide at sea and it's also at the top of my list to try out. And there's Lime and the Coconut, our Caribbean style bar on the pool deck, and of course Playmakers. Now Navigator also has one of Lori's favorites, Hooked. So Lori, what is your favorite thing from Hooked? Oh my gosh, Mari, I thought you would never ask, and I'm craving them already for dinner tonight. I love oysters. My husband and I, we are oyster fans, and we, when we go to Hook, we get dozens and dozens of oysters in one sitting, and when we're done with that, we go, for me, I love the stuffed lobster tail, absolutely gorgeous. And then the thing that really makes it all come together for me are the cheddar biscuits. They are absolutely delicious. Hooked is one of my favorites. I love the fresh raw bar. And if y'all are on a ship that has Hooked, you must not miss this experience for sure. Well, Lori, next time I need you to make a reservation for three because I am joining and I love oysters too. So I look forward to eating them with you too. But I let's take a look. <laughs> oh my gosh, me either. And last but certainly not least, we have our Oasis of the Seas. This original game changer loaded with all new adventures like Music Hall, the Bionic Bar, and the Ultimate Abyss, which is the tallest slide at sea. Of course, I know things are subject to change, but Oasis will be sailing from Cape Liberty. With most of my family living in New Jersey, they are really excited to jump on board an Oasis class ship and an amped one at that. Before I jump into our next video, Lori, anything you'd like to add about Oasis, like maybe the barbecue restaurant that is a complete hit? Oh my gosh. Well, Mari, <laughs> how come every time you're talking to me, it's about food? Maybe because that's <laughs> if y'all know me, and if you've been on any of my other past training updates, you're going to know I love to eat. And pork side barbecue is absolutely delicious. Now, I'm from the Midwest, and people argue about where the best barbecue comes from. But in my mind, I've had some of the best of the best right where I live, and I've tried almost everywhere I've gone. And I will tell you, pork side barbecue really would compare tops of the top anywhere I've been. Absolutely delicious. The smoked flavor, the accompaniment, absolutely delicious barbecue. A must not miss on Oasis of the Seas. And that is the only ship that has port side barbecue. Oh, yeah. Love it. Absolutely. Yeah. And we could talk all about everything on Oasis, or we could show a video so you can really take a look at our amplified Oasis of the Seas. I thought you'd never ask. Let's roll it. <laughs>
oh my goodness, I want to be on that ship right now. And I know you all want to be too. But I will tell you, whether it's our amplified ships that we're talking about, or the Royal Caribbean ships in our future, I can tell you one thing I know, the future is bright. Because we have so many ships coming, we are committed to major growth in the future. And the first that will be arriving is actually just a couple of months away now, and that is the Odyssey of the Seas. And we are so excited to welcome her into our fleet. And then following will be the Wonder of the Seas. She'll be a China-based ship, and she is an Oasis-class ship. Then there's the Icon class. Now, y'all may be saying, Laura, you've been talking about Icon class for a while, but you haven't told us any details. And Mari knows and I know there's a reason we don't have details yet. And that's because oh, yeah. <laughs> they told us. Oh, yeah, it's true. Mari knows. Because if they told us the details, guess what we would do? Mari, what would we do? We would tell you. <laughs> we would exactly. it right out. We would be too excited. We would, we would, we would spill the, all the details and we'd be in trouble. And anyway, so the minute we have information, we are going to share it. But they're keeping it close to the vest for the moment in our innovation lab. And boy, when the time is right, we'll tell you details, not about one icon class, not even two, but three icon class ships coming in the future. And also a sixth Oasis class ship. So y'all, I don't know what you see when you see this slide, but I see this. I believe Mari sees it, and I hope you see it too. It is called job security. So with all these new ships, we need you. We're going to need you now more than ever to fill them. So y'all, get ready. While we're on pause, you better enjoy it because a really busy time is ahead. And let's talk a little bit more about Odyssey of the Seas. She's arriving. We'll get, take delivery of her at the end of March. It'll be in Europe. She is an ultra quantum class ship. And what does that mean? Well, if you know our quantum class ships, she is like that with even some extra touches and surprises. You can see here the sky pad, which Mari was talking about on some of our amplified ships. And that's just the beginning. Let's have a quick look at a video and see what the Odyssey will have. So exciting. And the Odyssey. So a lot of really exciting features. We know Mari is the queen of Jenga at Playmakers. And she's going to love Playmakers on Odyssey of the Seas when it comes out because it's in the Seaplex. Now, the Seaplex is a unique area that's exclusive, uh, only on Royal Caribbean, uh, sports area. It's covered. It's two stories. We have things like bumper cars, uh, circus school. We have basketball. In the evenings, we have a DJ for the younger folks. It is such a fun area. Completely enclosed and Playmaker Sports Bar with its 31 TVs, tons of craft beers, burgers, chicken wings, you name it, it's got it. And the ice cream sundae is to die for. And if you're a Jenga champ, you're going to want to be there when Mari's sailing so you can try to dethrone her. But nonetheless, <laughs> Playmakers will be in the Cplex. We have that sky pad, which I, Mari didn't tell you, but when I did the sky pad on the ships that have it, we have it, of course, on the Independence and the Mariner. I squealed and giggled so loud. It is such a fun experience. You must tell your guests that they cannot miss it when they're on our ship. There's the Tempanyaki Bar, which is going to be wonderful, or restaurant, I should say. A Loco Fresh, it's all about the food for me. Y'all know this by now. And I love the Mexican fare that you can enjoy there. All casual, easy to grab and go with. And that pool deck with the lime and coconut theme, it has the covered areas, the bars, it has live music, and of course, the pool. It's a true attraction by day and really, really going to be absolutely breathtaking to see and take in. And of course, North Star, you can see the sphere with 360 degree view on the long arm that goes over 300 feet above the ship is also found on Odyssey of the Seas, a trademark of our quantum class ship. 
But you know, there's something else new and exciting that's coming this year. And it's not a ship, but a new home port. And that's Barbados. And I'm going to tell you the beaches in Barbados and the water. It's so clear. It's so beautiful. I'm a diver. I love Barbados. And Mari, why don't you give them a little bit of insight into what they can expect with our Barbados home port that's newly announced? Oh, absolutely. So like Lori said, if you haven't heard it yet, we are sailing from Bridgetown, Barbados. And at this time, Royal Caribbean is the only North American cruise line that will set sail from this unique and stunning port. The adventures will begin in December 2021, so let's just look a little more at this home port. First, there are new and exciting ports of call, including Trinidad and Tobago, St. Vincent, and Grenada. Second, these itineraries, and this is maybe my favorite part, are port intensive, more destinations and less sea days. And third, and a huge plus, are the amazing pre and post cruise opportunities. And we make it really easy to find available flight and hotel options so you can enjoy all of the beaches and snorkeling that Barbados has to offer. So now let's take just a quick glance at these itineraries. It's all about choice here with two seven night options, one visiting a new destination every single day of the voyage and the other sailing with late stays to the ABC Islands, Aruba, Bonaire, and Curacao, or your clients can linger longer on a 14-night ultimate Caribbean adventure with late night stays and overnights in top-rated ports. But that's just a little bit. In order to find out more, we have some really great resources for you. All of this and more can be found on loyaltyyouallways.com. You'll find FAQs answering any question you can think of, flyers, and a customizable consumer email. And don't forget, you also have your strategic account manager. They are always one of your top resources. And moving on, let's look at just a few changes that we've made to our deployment. As we know, we've had a few updates. For certain itineraries, we've swapped the hardware for an upgraded ship or ship class. We've also modified our schedule to add entirely new itineraries to our lineup. So in the Caribbean, we'll see Independence of the Seas sail from Miami with those six-night itineraries. Vision will sail from San Juan for the very first time. And Brilliance of the Seas will stay in Tampa for the summer, offering a new drive support for your clients. I think it's all great updates. In Europe, we have Adventure of the Seas, and this is really cool, heading to Barcelona, offering a brand first mix of short Mediterranean itineraries, so four and five nights. We'll also see Jewel of the Seas sail from Copenhagen and Stockholm, calling on Northern Europe's most picturesque ports. And just a couple more updates before I send it back to you, Lori. We have a couple itinerary updates. So first, we have the sale of our eight plus night sailing. They have been paused through November 1st of this year. We've also made a change to Rhapsody of the Seas with her home port changing from Venice to Ravenna, Italy. It is about a two-hour drive from Venice to Ravenna, so your clients can still go experience that beautiful city. And finally, in Galveston, we have replaced the lure of the seas with Liberty of the Seas for now. Now, for a little trip, a little virtual trip, I will send it back to you, Lori. I love it. I love it. And thank you, Mari. I'll tell you, it's uh, things are changing, and it's always great. You know, you mentioned something about our strategic account managers, and they are what I like to call your secret weapon. If you're not leaning in and leveraging your strategic account managers for everything Royal Caribbean, you're really missing the boat. No pun intended. So with that, I want to talk about another destination. And this one isn't new, and this one hasn't changed. It just keeps getting better all the time. And we all miss Perfect Day at Coco Cay. If you've been, you know how spectacular it is. If you haven't been, I'm sure it is number one on your list to visit. And as we do return to service, you can count on Perfect Day at Coco Cay being a true highlight and something that we visit probably as one of our first ports of call. 
So with that, let's have a quick reminder of just how amazing, whether it's thrills or chills that you're looking for, how amazing Perfect Day is. Okay, y'all, a couple of insider tips here. I don't know if you noticed, there's a huge pier. That pier for a private destination is very unusual in the industry. So as we practice our physical distancing when we come back to service, that is going to be even more important now than ever because, of course, you'll be able to disembark and embark the ship at your leisure practicing that physical distancing we know is going to be so important. Second great thing to note, Obviously, it's an outdoor experience, but th this island is really created to hold 10,000 plus guests. Yet when we first return to service, our commitment is to have only one ship in at a time. So you'll have a plethora of space to enjoy, to spread out, again, to make sure you feel safe and secure. And it is a bubble-like experience, just like our ships, because we own the island. People live on the island that work for us. So we can actually make sure and ensure safety and healthy environments for your guests and our clients to enjoy. So not only is Perfect Day a game-changing island, it's the perfect way to return to service. Now, something that opened right before we paused service just last year was Cocoa Beach Club. It is found on Perfect Day at Coco Cay, and it is a private beach club experience with floating cabanas and beachfront cabanas. Let's have a little quick peek at what that looks like. Okay, if that doesn't make you all ready to go, I don't know what does. Let's talk for just a brief moment about the floating cabanas. They are phenomenal, and there's only 20 of them. You can see the hammock that hangs over the water. I love the slide that goes into the ocean, and that is just the beginning of the fun you can have in this beautiful floating cabana. If you see the schematic here, it has so many great features. The beach towels, the iced cooler with waters in it, the concierge service that's available, a safe that you can lock your things up, a wet bar, the freshwater shower, and of course, uh, just the whole experience of being on an exclusive floating cabana is phenomenal. But if you can't get a floating cabana or you prefer the beach, we have 10 brand new beach cabanas. And these are right on the water, right on the beach. Again, they have many of the similar features. They're in Cocoa Beach Club. And you can see it has the power outlets, the storage, the towels, the ice cooler, and of course, access to the concierge and mini bar. It's really, really a great experience. These hold both the floating and the beachfront cabanas, hold up to eight guests, 
And when you do buy a cabana, you do have access, complimentary access into Cocoa Beach Club and the clubhouse. So the clubhouse hosts a beautiful uh, infinity pool right on the beach, absolutely amazing views, a great bar, and even a lovely restaurant that you can enjoy, all complimentary as a part of your access into Cocoa Beach Club. And what I love about this restaurant, now, I guess I get a little torn because I love the Beach Shack burgers and the crispy chicken sandwiches. But in the restaurant, you can have lobster tails and beautiful steaks and very, very upscale cuisine and an elevated menu, all as part of your uh, experience at Cocoa Beach Club. And of course, in the mornings, they have snacks that are available. In the afternoons, the same thing. And it's a beautiful experience if you buy our beverage package. You can even enjoy co cocktails as a part of the beverage package in the Cocoa Beach Club area. So really, really a spectacular addition to Perfect Day at Coco Cay. And this is just the beginning. There's many new enhancements coming as time passes to Perfect Day. So if you know it today, you'll want to study up because it's going to continue to evolve. Now, Mari, I always think to myself, how in the world can we ask our travel partners to keep track of all our amazing ships, all of our new builds, all of our programs, and all of our features? It gets confusing, but I think you might have an idea of how you can really help keep yourself on track. So I'm going to turn it over to you. Oh, I do. It is called RCU. So Royal Caribbean University, or RCU as we call it, is the best way to learn about all things Royal Caribbean. We have courses, games, challenges, and so much more. And these all help you become an expert in selling our brand. And for competitors alike, we have this exciting collector circle challenge going on. This is basically a virtual badge collection where you can earn badges for completing courses and those games and challenges, just like you see here on the screen. And just as we did at the end of 2020, we will be giving away a free seven night cruise for two and there's more 100 swag bags to our winners. So log into Cruising Power and definitely check it out. You will not be disappointed. Next. Let's just take a look at one of my favorite, you know, and I'm saying with all capital letters, my favorite marketing tools, Branch Up. This tool is social media made easy. Branch Up connects with your Facebook business page and automatically updates with posts that will inspire your clients to like, share, and click. It is completely personalized with all your information front and center. And this free app allows you to spend your valuable time working with customers and not searching for content. Hold on, Mari. What, how much does this cost? What did you just say? Lori, it is free, a free marketing tool. Wait a minute. We're paying the advisors. All they have to do is sign up and they can enjoy this type of marketing? And it post for you. It is zero dollars to you to use and it just makes it so easy. It does it all for you and it's free. Yep, I'm saying wow. it is free. <laughs> so all right. definitely all right, y'all. <laughs> sorry to interrupt. Mari, if if they no, do, not, do not hang up do not hang up from our training call now. But when this is over, I want you all to go straight to loyalty wallets. Get signed up for Branch Up if you're not already signed up and take advantage of this because this is such a phenomenal opportunity and everybody loves social media right now as we sit in our homes and dream about where we want to go. I love this, Mari. Now I understand why it's one of your favorite marketing tools <laughs> for sure. Oh, absolutely. But we also mentioned loyalty always. So why don't you tell us just a little bit more about that phenomenal resource? Oh my gosh. Well, loyalty you always get. You know, Mari and I work for the company, but we both agree, and we talked about this as we prepared for today. We are in loyalty you always every day, and we work for the company because it has so much information. It is really, talk about a tip and trick for success. This is probably the number one tip. If you're not already in loyalty you always and bookmarking it as a favorite, you need to be in there daily. We update all our current offers product updates when they change and get announced are all there. 
marketing tools like Branch Up and so much more, tons of digital support because we know everything's gone digital with all the changes and, and the way we're not seeing our clients like we used to in person, and even developmental tools. Things like our brochures on millennial travel, or family travel, our royal suite class, even the Galveston brochure, and of course, Perfect Day at Coco K has its own e-brochure. And that is just the beginning of all the things you can find in Loyalty Wawas and, of course, digital. Now, I love this one. You know, Royal Caribbean has been voted number one entertainment at sea for the last few years running, and there's a reason. We have tons of original productions. We have things like Hairspray and Grease and Mamma Mia to add. And, oh, my gosh, so much fun. But my favorite show, if you haven't seen it, is, um, oh, my gosh, I'm blank, The Airplane. Mari, help me. Why am I blank? Uh, flight. Hello, Flight Dare yep. to Dream. And uh, thank you. I went blank. Flight Dare to Dream is if you all are ever on the symphony, you must see the show. Anyway, you can fantasize about it all and live vicariously by downloading the ZMAG for entertainment, one of the many things you find in Loyalty Wallace. And there's more, the fleet guide. Now, for us, we eat, live, and breathe Royal Caribbean, and we still refer to the fleet guide to keep track of which ships have which places and restaurants and entertainment venues and bars, and the fleet guide has just been updated, and it, too, is found in Loyalty Wallace. But, you know, Mari, I keep talking about all this information and where you find it in Loyalty Wallace, but there's another really important announcement or um, enhancement, and that's all about automation. So I'm going to let you run with the automation update. Oh, absolutely. So what is new with automation? Well, we've made significant strides in all of our automation tools. Our automation toolkit is one of my personal favorites, and I honestly refer to it all the time. It's a go-to tool that gives directions and guidance on all things automation, from how to book a reservation in Espresso to how to check the refund status of any canceled sailings you can get the help you need right within this tool. Now, I know Lori likes sharing good news, but I'm gonna steal the next good news story on this next slide. So this is truly the enhancement of all enhancements. And I'm not sure if you can tell how excited I am about it. You can now search, redeem, and apply your client's cruise with confidence, global sailing suspension, and non-refundable deposit FCCs instantly through espresso, latte, and cruising power. And I really want to emphasize that word instantly. This offers more visibility into the price and promotions on the booking and confirmation of the application of these certificates. And like you can see here, there are so many benefits, but really you just need to go in there and check it out. Challenge yourself to go into espresso or use latte uh, and try it out. And we all agree technology can be overwhelming at times. So if you have any questions, don't forget, again, you have your strategic account manager. They are ready to help you. They are eager to help you. Um, and they would love to really get you using these tools. So just two more things from me. First. If you have not tuned in yet, you are missing out. Every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern, we have a coffee talk with Vicki Freed. And not only do we welcome special guests and win prizes, but even as a Royal Caribbean employee, I learned so much. It is unbelievable from every single coffee talk. And it's just such a fun hour and brings so much joy to every single week. And Second, if you haven't signed up for Vicky's tips yet, I'm telling you, sign up. These are daily tips that help you sell and really provide that extra motivation that I think we all can use each day. So back to you, Lori, to wrap things up. Thank you, Mari. And, you know, we all can use encouragement right now. And the long road or, or the long uh, sail at sea of being paused, it, it is getting long, but y'all, this is that critical time, and I will tell you, we rely on you. I open with this. We count on you, and I always say that our success is dependent upon your success. 
So we want to be there to support because you, a travel advisor, you provide things that can't be found anywhere else. True value, responsiveness to your clients, especially at a time like this. Reassurance, which your clients are going to need as we prepare to return to service. The fact that you are full service, you won't just sell that cruise, but you'll sell that pre or post package, or you'll take care of insurance needs, which again, will be more important now. Um, answer those questions. Your expertise is like none other, and it really creates that worry-free experience that your clients count on you for. And we at Royal Caribbean are counting on you for the same thing. So in our minds, your value, it's priceless. It's truly priceless to us. And we actually appreciate you all in ways beyond just the fact that we know we need you for our success. We also thank you for believing in us and you have created success for us with things like voting us the best sales and service. We wanna be there to serve you and help you through these challenging times. Best cruise line, best cruise line in the Caribbean, perfect day at Coco Cay, best island, and I mentioned the best entertainment. And I really wanna say from Vicki Freed, our fearless leader, um, on down through the entire sales organization, Mari and I, we appreciate you, we thank you, and we just can't do it without you, and we can't wait to welcome you back. And I think, Anna, with that, if there's time, we would be happy to answer any questions that, uh, that the group might have. Perfect, thank you so much. We do have some questions coming in. Our first one is from William, who is wondering, with the change to Royal Caribbean Group, will agents be able to book two-week cruises and Hape Hag Lloyd on Cruising Power, and will they still have access to Azamara and Pullman Tour? Great question. And Mari, if I'm not keeping on track, you can certainly reel me in. Um, first of all, Pullman is, um, has paused its operation. So right now, Pullman wouldn't be for sale as far as um, booking future cruises. And then Azamara has recently been bought and is in transition to be um, bought and moved over to a new private equity company. So over the next couple of months, we will be transitioning Azamara out of the Royal Caribbean group. So um, I don't know the details about bookings and reservations because it, it's something where we are gonna work closely with Sycamore Partners who has made the acquisition and we will be working with them with reservations and things like that for some time to come. So there's probably a lot more detail we'll have in the coming months as far as Azamara, but today it's truly business as usual. I hope that helps. Okay, perfect. Our next question is from Beth, who is wondering if there's a place where agents can check how many and which ships are at Coco Cay on any given day. Ah, that's a good question. Mari, do you happen to know, because nothing comes to my mind quickly that we have access to. Can you think of anything? I can't think of anything, but it's definitely a very cool idea if we don't have it. So I, I it might is. take that and go share it with my team after this. So um, not sure, but if not, hopefully we'll see one soon. Well, um, well, and I can also share this with you. We have a limit. We would never have more than two ships at Perfect Day at Coco Cay at any given time as a rule. And when we first come back to service, as I mentioned, our commitment is to just have one ship at a time. So that I can't confirm in the near future, okay? Okay, that is some great insight. Um, we have another question about Coco Cay from Cynthia. She is wondering if you will do overnights at Coco Cay. Ah, Cynthia, that's a great question. We have talked about it. We have been evaluating this. And while we have not made the commitment to do it at this point, we are looking at it and considering this as an option. Um, we did when we developed the island with Perfect Day Enhancements, we did wire the island with lighting so the whole island can light up at night. And so we're, we're ready for something like that, but we have not um, finalized any decision at this point with itinerary planning to include overnight. But great suggestion, we're thinking about it, nothing to confirm today, but stay tuned. Okay. Got it. Our next question is from Gail, who is wondering if Amplified comes with an additional price tag. Amplified. Um, I'm not sure uh, exactly what that means. What part of the Amplified? The Amplified ship? Or I don't know if they can and type in quickly. Or Mari, do you have an idea what that might mean? I do have a feeling. Um, just as 
you know, maybe the cruise vacation costs more on these amplified ships. And I believe that's what the question is. And honestly, no. <laughs> you know, our that's cruise correct. has you, it, I mean, it, we couldn't be luckier. You get to experience all these amplified features just as part of your, your cruise. So, and hopefully we answered that question. But if not, again, feel free to type in uh, to the question box. Absolutely. Okay. Amazing. Um, we have a lot of people wondering about loyal to you always. So where, um, can you repeat where agents can find branch up in loyal to you always? Sorry, um, is it under the marketing tab? Actually, I think you could even type in the search area in loyal to you always about branch up and it should take you there. Am I correct? I was going to say, absolutely. I am a go-to search person. I use that search bar. It saves me so much time. Mm -hmm. So go to loyalty you always type in branch up and it comes right up and you can get all the details on how to sign up along with a trade flyer and more information. And remember, that sounds your strategic easy account manager, yep, and your strategic account manager can always help you and guide you through the process as well. So you're never alone. Oh, absolutely. Perfect. This question is from Sabrina, who is brand new and wondering if anybody is eligible to register for loyalty always. Absolutely. In fact, you don't even have to register. It is not password protected. It's just loyalty always, all spelled together as one word, dot com. And you can go in there, not while you're still on the call with us, but right when you hang up, you're welcome to go <laughs> in, Sabrina, and check it out. <laughs> okay, easy enough. Our next question is from Rita, who is wondering if you have an update on the Odyssey. Uh, Rita, um, I think what you mean um, is, whoop, I think, can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? We can hear you. Yes, we can. Uh, I had an earbud uh, die on me. So there you go. <laughs> um, Rita, what I think you mean is when we're taking possession, because originally the Odyssey would have been in our fleet already, but we are taking possession of her at the end of March. We will do a series of cruises in Europe before she then is scheduled to come over to North America and Homeport in Fort Lauderdale next fall. So I think that's what you might mean as far as an update, but she is ready to um, just a couple more months of uh, finishing touches and she'll be coming into the fleet officially turned over to us at the end of March. And Rita, if you need more detail than that, or if there was something else you were looking for, we're happy to answer, just type it in. Okay, perfect. We have just a few questions left. This one is from William, who has been asked why Allure and Explorer of the Seas have been docking at Port Canaveral over the last couple of days, and is wondering if you have an update on those ships. Ah, interesting. You know, I, I don't have any specific insight to tell you exactly why they're there, but what I can tell you is um, our ships, it's really interesting. They have been spending time in the Port of Miami. They go into the Port of Fort Lauderdale. Sometimes I see them out. I don't see any today, but um, I'm looking. But sometimes they're just off the coast, um, just outside of the port. And what happens is when the ships come in, they are usually doing one of a few things. They're either picking up crew members as we start to prepare for our return to service. They are provisioning and getting food and, and, and fuel and supplies because even though we're not sending our fabulous clients, um, your clients, our guests, out to sea right now, the ships still sail. They still operate. They still have to, you can't really just shut them down. So we have to provision food for those people working on board and fuel and, and things like that. And so they do periodically come into the port, whichever port they're assigned to, to provision. So if you've seen them in port, they're probably getting fuel and food and or taking crew members on board to prepare for a return to service. Some combination they're in. Okay, that makes sense. And it looks yep. like this will be our last question from Stacy, who is wondering, can you book the private bungalows directly on Cruising Power? Um, and I believe you do it through um, pre-cruise planner. Mari, keep me real here. Is that correct? I am actually just double checking this one right now, but you are correct. It is pre-cruise planner. Yes, and they can or be pre-booked. Pre-cruise planner, I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, sorry, yes. Yeah. 
So, um, so yes, they can be pre-booked and I would encourage it because as you know, with only 20 floating and 10 on the beach, there's other cabanas, by the way, all throughout perfect day that can also be rented for the day. They have some at the, um, at the thrill water park that are right near De uh, daredevil's peak. They have them, um, in South beach, they have them all throughout the Island. And it's really amazing because we have truly made having a cabana something that it's still very exclusive, but there's not just a few and then you can't book anymore. But pre-booking is key. And you know what else happens when you pre-book? When you pre-book the dinners or the cabanas or the shows and make your registrations, that helps make those bookings stickier. So I know it's a little funny to talk about sticky bookings right now with the fact that we're on pause, but soon enough, we'll be back to service and things like that are going to be very important to the sales process. Okay, awesome. And that was our last question. So thank you everyone so much for joining us. And thank you, Lori and Mari, for all of the wonderful information. Listen, you Thanks bet. And we, all, we appreciate you. Keep the faith out there. Stay hopeful. It's been a long journey, but we're getting there. And, and we need you. And uh, while we're on pause, your clients aren't. So stay connected to them and stay connected to us. We thank you for all you do. Bye, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.